What's going on guys? So we have some trouble in the LVC. It's kind of hard being Snoopy or WG. So we have trouble going on in Paradise. We have a lot of drama. War has just started on this channel. It's gonna be kind of nasty. You're gonna have people picking sides. You're gonna see a lot of devious work. It's gonna be like nothing I've ever seen before. Ugh. You know guys, um, I don't really know how to approach this situation. I know people are gonna say I have a temperament, I have an attitude problem, I get angry fast. But I gotta start off by saying, I'm absolutely sorry. Because, you know, the way that, um, I'm, I don't wanna really even use names, because I don't wanna put people on blast when they are not here to defend themselves. But the way this individual has been acting on my channel has been freaking crazy, crazy. I see the reason why a lot of y'all hated me. Like, I wouldn't say I hate the man, okay? I don't hate the man. I would never say I hate the man. But in regards to being frustrated with the man and hating what he stands for, I absolutely do. And I see now the reason why a lot of you guys had, once again, a lot to say. Let me give you guys a perfect example. What if uh, this individual, uh, being black, was on that flight and he was one of the eight black men that was pulled off the flight for body odor, which was a lie. Um, it came out that it was a lie. That's why the men are suing, they're gonna get paid. But um, they pulled out all the black men off the flight, every single one of them, it was eight of them, and said that they were pulled out for body odor. And that was embarrassing. Those men almost, you know, three of them missed their flight, but five of them got to go back on the same flight. Three had to stay off. But the whole point of the matter is, um, what if, this individual, this black man, would have been one of these men. He would have wanted people to, you know, understand the pain and trauma that seems to only happen to us in 2024 still. And, you know, I used to think the same way. Like when I say that my son is never gonna be in trouble, when I say I'm not gonna do this, a cop is not gonna, um, um, you know, harass me, a cop isn't gonna, you know, you're not gonna see no pr police brutality when you're talking about me. Whatever happens, now I'm gonna go and try to act like I'm a victim because I'm a victim and I can't expect the black folks to now have my back when I was bashing black folks who were assaulted, who were hurt, harmed, who's been mistreated like those men that were not allowed to use the bathroom at Starbucks even though they were, you know, literally going to um, have a meeting there and they were gonna order, you know, drinks once the other two people came. But you know, customary, you know, you wait till everybody get there before you order your drinks. This behavior that American Airlines engaged in was absolutely devious. Now, what frustrates me with this individual, he decided to, you know, like he's been doing, every time I talk about an injustice that a black person's facing, no comparison to white people or anybody else we're facing, he forgets that he's black. And he always says y'all or or the blacks or whatever, like I used to say. But the thing that was absolutely devious and nasty was, you know, the fact that every time I make a point, a good point, a valid point, he always has to say, you know, your channel and your unintelligent points and your um, a low IQ conversations, exactly what I used to say to the black folks that used to come on and make, you know, have opinions and have conversations when I used to downplay every single injustice that happened to black folks and I would like compare it and try to make you know the white folks look good you know when I was on that nasty behavior it absolutely angered me yesterday to the point that I never thought that I would boot that man but I had to boot that man and get him out of here and then I got crazy I don't care about calling his name out it is what it is because he was trying to troll I booted him too because I just can't have that now let me tell you guys the reason why it happened and the reason why I was getting angry, and the reason why now I see, and I, like I said before, I'm sorry to those of y'all that I brought to this level of, of yelling. I see why, you know, Craig was turning into a raging lesbian debating me because, like, literally it makes no sense the things I was saying. But this man tried to, when I said that the eight black men who were booted from the flight, literally because of their race, no other reason, he tried to. At first, he called it an ignorant point, whatever, in the comments. But I called him out about that, and I said, bro, this is when we're going to disagree. And then this this might be where you don't come on my channel no more because you're going to be mad that I'm, like, coming at your neck because, like, now you've been ignorant. Because this man tried to come on, like, five minutes later and say, you know, it was a family 
a white people that got booted from playing for body odor or whatever such. And I'm trying to get this man to understand, dude, you're comparing eight black men who were not together. They were all separate parts of the plane. You're comparing them to a family that were all sitting next to each other. And of course, if two family members smell like crap and they got and they were getting removed, the whole family's gonna leave. Why would the why would like the rest of the family stay on a flight if the two men or the two whoever was smelling got booted? They're all gonna leave. But he tried to make that point and tried to compare the two to try to defeat my my debate or my um topic. So then after that, they make no sense. He goes to find a, an instance of one white guy getting pulled off the flight. And he tried to say, okay, this one white guy got pulled off. And then once again, he hit me with like intelligent insults that, you know, he knew that I would not want to, um, you know, disrespect him with him saying such as, you know, once again, low IQ, ignorant, you're thinking emotional as a black man. That's why, you know, and then it got to the point that he called me a trigger word. He said that I'm a liberal and I need to go vote for Joe Biden. All because I don't agree with him trying to make everything that anybody black says that's still happening something that has to do with racism. He has to, you know, play the white savior and make everything. No, it's just a misunderstanding. These white folks don't do nothing wrong. This, that, this, and that. And I'm just tired of it. Now, I'm going to show you guys this clip of J. Cole going into a Tesla leadership, looking like J. Cole, like a regular black man in America. And he was shooed away by the manager of Tesla dealership while he was looking at the car, you know, to the point of like he was touching the Tesla Cybertruck. He's worth over $60 million and he was shooed away like, like, like he's a bum that couldn't, you know, get this car all because of the fact he was a black man. I'm pretty sure this was a white guy in the same clothes, you know, they would probably assume that dude's lady might have like money or his parents got money. He could probably get this cyber truck. But it's a black man. Don't take him serious. We're going to boot him out. And I know a lot of y'all that, that saw the story already are going to say that the person that recorded it added context that the two people knew that he was J. Cole and they were like shell shocked. But they didn't go to tell the manager, bro, this is J. Cole. But why, did it have, why does it have to be J. Cole to be treated with respect? I know how it works. When I was looking for my Tesla, or looking at the Tesla, getting a Tesla, you're allowed to look at the Tesla. You're allowed to test the Tesla, touch the Tesla, okay? Now, of course, you can't excessively touch it. We can touch it and see what's going on. But for them to, like, for the manager to come and, like, approach him, like, in a way to try to get him to go away, and, and J. Cole did the right thing. He's not gonna be where his business is not wanted. So he kept it moving. So let's watch the clip here. Go the clip. You know, that's the reality that's happening, but I guess in the eyes of a fellow black man, you're not allowed to talk about that. Nothing's happening. We're not being treated indifferently. Why not just say, if you want everything to be okay, you want everybody to be able to be treated that way? If you're black, why not say we're not equal? And then guess what? You won't get no smoke. Nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna say a word. You got it, bro. But with that said, yeah, I was wrong. Y'all said that I was gonna treat him with respect, which I have. But yesterday went too far. Because the making me look dumb on my channel, then he, like, you know, he does, does it in subtle ways. And I was like, I'm, I was like allowing it because I was trying to prove a hard point of not wanting to, you know, boot him. And then like people say, here you go. I knew, told you you couldn't like last without booting somebody. He literally tried to like make me look like an idiot because of the fact I'm telling them my channel don't have growth due to the fact that I'm not pushing. Once again, I feel like it's women and people to be camped up. Because guess what? When I'm camped up, I get more views on videos or lives coincidentally we have Furby show up first camped up female and I can't even remember I got the highest views on the day on that live immediately like it ain't rocket science just because I want to do YouTube my way does not make it a bad thing YouTube works for me the way I want it to work my my audience base is not giving up their emails 
for me to email them. Now, maybe there's a better solution to create, you know, just push leads out or to generate leads, whatever. But look, to be looked at as an idiot, whatever, that ain't for me no more. You know, I saw a story on Facebook of a woman, her dad gave her a car. He said, take it to the dealership, see what they give you. Sell the car, dude, you gotta do what you gotta hit. She got hit with my own bag. I thought somebody hit me. I thought my light flashed in front of my eyes. But you have um, the dealership, they said $10,000 for the car. They'll give you. And then, second again, Jesus Christ, the stupid bag, $10,000 they'll give you, okay? For that car to the woman. Then she went to the, uh, the dad said, go to the uh, pawn shop. The pawn shop said, we'll give you $1,000. Then he said, go to the uh, passive or pass passion car club, like the car club that, you know, buy cars as a passion, hobby, whatever. And guess what? Antique pretty much dealership. And guess what happened? A bunch of people offered her $100,000 for the car. She sold it. You know what that symbolizes? You go where your worth is most. You go where people value the most. So I'm gonna go where I value the most. I'm gonna go around black people who want their voices heard, you know, where we have instances of injustice happening, where people are being treated in a bad way, all because of their skin color. I'm gonna go around those people. And then around, you know, about about that in a way, I'm gonna go, besides that, we're going to like talking about money, making money on YouTube, making money with me doing gig work as I'm doing a ride along, waiting for an order right now, actually. But we'll do those videos. We'll do those, have those conversations. We'll do that. But when it comes down to it, guys, I'm just over it. I'm tired of having these panels, having these people that come on, thinking that it's okay to disrespect me. Thinking like if they're, if, if I don't agree with what they got to say because I was giving them all this praise and love and shine, then it's the wrong way. Just because it ain't your way, in my eyes, I'm idiot. I'm locale. I'm unintelligent. I'm all these things. You're not gonna sit here and say that to me and think that I'm gonna allow that to be a thing. So with that said, I booted the brother. He's welcome on the channel, but I'm gonna boot him again if he decides to come on here and have an idiotic comparison comparing eight black men who got booted from a plane to like a family they got and in mind it was eight black men that was sitting in different sections of the flight they were not related nobody they weren't together you're gonna compare that to a family that were together sitting together knowing that two people might have smelled and they all left because they can't fly alone i mean fly without those two people and then to try to compare it to one white guy getting removed, and then you want to call me unintelligent, emotional, because you're bringing out the worst in me, because you're making me go crazy, because you're trying to justify white people treating these men in a freaking disgusting way. I'm not having that no more. Like I said, I see why people hated me, and I see why people couldn't, they want to rock with me. Because I was engaging in, in the same ignorance that you're engaging in, bro. And I hope you grow. Because you literally are engaging in self-hate. And, you know, I didn't want to go here, but I'm going to go here. And somebody did say that within a week and a half, you're going to have a video made about you. And here it goes. And you did it to yourself. Because of the fact, you know, you took my, my, my respect and love and <laughs> admiration I have for you. You took it too far because... I literally was singing your praises and you continuously decided to try to belittle me and make me look like an idiot. And then it got to the point of calling me an idiot yesterday. Unintelligent, low-cow, all because I don't conform to what you want me to conform to. Bro, you act like me. And let me tell you what I, I, I hated, like the drug dealers, the losers that are doing violent stuff, mainly because they got all the women. They were making all the money, even though it was illegal, they were making all the money that I wish I had. They got all the bad chicks, okay? They were deemed cool. 
They were literally getting all the respect and admiration in the community. It made me sick. So it made me want to bash those individuals in a way that was not worthy of the disrespect. And then the women I used to bash, I used to bash them because of the fact they didn't want me. I wasn't cool enough for them. I wasn't educated enough for some. These were personal issues that I blamed the women for. A whole group of women. You're engaged in the same thing because you call, when you said ignorant blacks, you know, and then you are so fast to just degrade your own people. But I've yet to hear you bash white folks when we talk about the white folks. You don't never talk about the ignorant white folks. You understand, you gotta know one to, 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 to um, go toe to toe with one. Bro, just like I was, just like I was a um, self-hating black man, Uncle Tom, wannabe. I took pride in disrespecting my people. You are um, doing the same, and you don't even, you're not even aware of it. Because of the fact you're educated, this dude right here is tripping right here. Because you're educated, I'm assuming you're financially together. You think you're better than your own people. Because you assume a lot of us are not doing good. You look at me like I'm not doing good, and I'm, bro, I'm loving it. I'm loving life right now, I'm kicking. But, but you assume I'm not doing good. So with all I said, you are free to come on here and we can have a debate. But it's not gonna be on freaking tropes. It's not gonna be on nothing but facts. You're not gonna come on with stupid ass points talking about freaking a family compared to eight black men all over the plane. I'll give you that. And it's gonna be a debate, not a conversation. Cause I have nothing to conversate with about because I feel insulted after all the love that I gave you taking freaking shots from people for giving you all this love and for you to end with that note to call me a liberal and a Trump supporter because I don't agree with what you're saying in regards to these eight black men being taken off this flight. And like I said, it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Otherwise, if you don't wanna have that, I'm okay with not having it because I don't wanna have it anyway. But I'm giving you that respect and I can't be talking about you and not give you the platform that I'm talking about you on for you to respond and, you know, and speak your mind. I'll let you do that. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, that's good with me because I don't really want to do it anyway. Just keep it moving. You won't hear your name spoken on this channel no more. You know, I won't mention that situation yesterday. No more after this video. That's it. It's over. So you can just stay away. Do you. You said it in the, in the chat. This is your last time coming on this channel. So once again, you won't be spoken about it. But I'm tired and I'm not taking disrespect no more. And that goes for anybody. You know, people that try to, people that have disrespected me and think that you don't gotta apologize for disrespecting me, I'm over you guys too. I'm not playing this game no more. Like, it's like, what's the point? If you can't, you gotta stand or something. I'm tired of being bipolar, allowing people to disrespect me. And all I do is take them back and say, you know what, it's okay, bro. It's okay, you, it's okay you disrespected me, it's okay. It's fine, you disrespect me. I'm tired of it, it's over. It stops today. With that said guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. The war has started on the channel. We're gonna have people that are gonna side with the self-hating black man, what I used to be. And then you're gonna have people siding with decency and common sense. For somebody to compare eight black men being booted from a plane to a family of white people who probably maybe two of them smelled so they all left. Some ignorant, nasty work. But that's all I got. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hit the like button, guys. Once again, I'm out. Peace.